Three Midvale businesses are stuck with a big bill after a man smashed out their windows. This happened late last night near 7100 South and State Street. That's where news specialist Debbie Worthen is live tonight. Debbie, what's this all about? Yeah, that's exactly what these business owners are trying to figure out. Now, here at Sagato's Bakery and Cafe, there is a closed sign on the door that's next to a smashed window that's now boarded up. Now, this is just one of three businesses hit late last night, and the owner here says that surveillance of that vandal in the act was hard to watch. Came in this morning um, to get a head start on cakes. Verona Sagato Malga arrived at her family's bakery early to an unwanted surprise. The bakery's front window shattered. She went right to security cameras to see what happened. It's like a punch in the gut, honestly. She watches as a man comes up to the front window and starts hitting it with a the rock, then kicking it until it shatters and he goes inside. Comes right through the window, walks straight past here, doesn't look at any of our items or anything, um, goes straight to the office. He just walks in like so casually. Verona says the man rummages through papers and files in the office. Then? He walks around a little bit, heads into our walk-in refrigerator, takes a sausage roll, and he leaves. But he's not done with his spree of destruction. He does the same thing next door at Alexander's Pet Groomer and Easy Pond. Lots of damage, nothing missing. There are things worth taking that okay, he that just didn't okay. take. The window will cost a couple of thousand dollars to fix. That's on top of the business lost from closing for the day, which is a big hit for a small family business. But Verona says response from customers and friends has been overwhelming. In times like this, when bad things happen, um, it's so nice to have a wonderful community to fall back on and, and just it helps you to realize like things are okay. Now, the Unified Police Department is working on leads. As for Sagato's Bakery and Cafe, they will be back open tomorrow. I asked how people can help. They said, just come and give them your business. In Midville, Debbie Worthen, KSL 5 News. So if they get a little more business, Debbie, thank you. News